Hi, this is Kate again. Welcome back to PageFly tutorial series. In this video, I will guide you how to add a Shopify dynamic checkout button without coding to PageFly page. This button will allow your customers to skip the cart and go straight to the checkout, making the shopping process faster and easier. There are two types of dynamic checkout buttons. The first one is unbranded button. This button will display text like buy it now and takes customers directly to Shopify checkout, skipping the cart. The second one is branded button. It will show logos of third-party checkout methods like PayPal or Google Pay, allowing customers to complete purchases using those services. The type of dynamic checkout button shown to customers depends on several factors. Payment settings, shop promise activation, which prioritizes shop pay, customer's browser, device, personal payment history, example, past use of Apple Pay or Google Pay. Now, let's dive into the details. Firstly, we need to access the dynamic checkout button. Open the PageLite editor and click on the elements panel on the left-hand side. Click in Shopify tab, scroll down to find dynamic checkout button element. Drag and drop the element you want into the page editor and start using it. Please note that this element only works when it's placed inside the product details element. Now it's time to configure the button in General tab. In the General tab, you can modify the text shown on the dynamic checkout button by typing your desired text into the button text field. For instance, you could use buy it now or check out now. Scroll down, you can find other settings like visibility, tracking, attributes, and animation. You can make the button stand out so your customers can easily spot it by adjusting the appearance in the styling tab. If the button isn't branded, meaning certain conditions like your payment settings, shop promise, or the customer's browser, device, or payment history aren't met, you can completely customize the dynamic checkout button style to fit your store's design. I will set the button's width to fill so it expands to occupy the entire Flex container. Set the font size bigger and adjust the background color for it and set border radius for it. You can adjust other settings to suit your preferences. Let's save and publish your page to see how it look in the live view. As you can see, it shows exactly as buy it now. Because it's an unbranded dynamic checkout button, if you activate a payment method, as you can see the PayPal here, the button will display with third-party branding, like PayPal or Apple Pay, and it will automatically match that brand style you aren't able to change the appearance of these branded buttons. This concludes our tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos. Thank you for watching.